awe at Mastig. 15 no. is not going to do it. Awesome armor of awesomeness. It's going to claw at Mastig again. 29. Yeah, that probably hit. Yeah. So there By so much that. Nine oh, I had, I had exactly nine. I was going to say Navarra's going to cut in words the damage. Okay. You can do that. Reducing it by four. So you only take five. And you are still up, sir. I have four hit points. That's awesome. Not that you have four hit points, but you're still up. Yes. Pival. He is now on the ground in melee. Melee. Okay. Range potentially. Bonus action to turn into my last form here. Polar form. Uh, boom. Bam. Dingo. Might be a bad idea. Who knows? Fuck it up. 26 for 8. And then yeah. 15 for 14. I assume okay, the, the 26. Yeah, the 15 the misses, message. but the 26 hits. And that is my turn. At the end of your oh. turn... Okay. I was going to say, I'm just going to move over here. Okay. No. At the end of your turn, it is going to tail attack... Uh... And Crowbar moves up to attack. Okay. It's going to tail attack Mastig. <laughs> oh, what a dick. What a dick. <laughs> no, it's a tail, not a dick. But it's... <laughs> 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 Flying at 21? It logical to me. Yeah, that hits. Um, so three damage or less. I'm guessing he has a, a plus to that that's higher than... Could 19 cutting... bludgeoning. That no, attack? it's a reaction. Oh. Ah, yeah. yeah, she already used hers. 19? 19. Yeah. <laughs> Down I go. And Crowbar is going to try to hit the dragon. Okay. And miss. Okay. Done. Done, done, done. done. Uh, let's see... At the end of Crowbar's turn, it's going to tail attack. I thought. Well, Tyvel. it happens on my. I was going to say, I thought Crowbar's it. turn was Tyvel's turn. I'll take it. I'll no, take they're it. two fine. separate people. It's two separate turns. They just go on the same initiative. Same initiative. Yeah, I'll take it. Bingo. 12? <laughs> um, That's a miss because I, I rolled a one. Oh, yeah. Crit ones <laughs> always miss. Otherwise, it would have hit. <laughs> But oh, Griffin wow. always yeah. miss. Yeah, we're not big on AC now. So he's going to hit you 95% of the time. Yeah. All right, That's Naivara. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Smurga Potato Smasher is going to go up and push the little, the little uni dwarf out of the way and, and stand um, there. And, uh,. Navarra is going to go ahead and cast Healing Word as a fourth level spell. Nice. On Mastig. Damn. Plus 15? So, a total of 15. And since Healing Word is a bonus action, she can use a, another spell so long as it's a cantrip, correct? Yes. Yes. She shall viciously mock the dragon. Okay. Fuck you. 14 whiz, okay. Fail it. I'll your mother you was fail. a snowball. That polar bear right there is wearing your sister. <laughs> she she is not amused by your mockery. Or he. Why do I keep saying she? He is apparently not offended by me calling his mother a even, snowball. Even the DM yeah. thinks you're a sissy boy. Yeah, white <laughs> dragons probably think snowballs are pretty rad, yo. And do you want your ogre to do something, Chrissy? He did. He moved Mastig out of the way. Oh, um, okay. Ideally, he would have moved him, you know, over here where the dragon couldn't reach him, not just over there. But yeah, I just put it there. Anyway. Like instant grapple him because while he was still unconscious. All right, Thurin. Uh, bow attack. Damn it, Thur Thurin! You failed me. Get out. <laughs> At least you're not scared right. anymore. Yeah. yeah. And how about your your ogre? Yeah, he's going to. Nope. He his javelin misses. Okay, Uthgrim. 
Luke Sperm's gonna use his climb speed. Okay. To climb out of this shit. Okay. And get up next to this guy. Cool. And start pummeling him. Just All right. Like, two. Oh. You get two. Boom, boom. <laughs> and it, now it won't be a disadvantage either. So sweet. All right, Donkey Kong. Let's see what you got. Yeah. So it's, I believe, yeah. Let me just double check. The stats are up down. Plus nine. Okay. 20? That will hit. Yes. Uh, for... Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, the damage is pretty good. For 15. Nice. And here comes fist number two. I believe Third. the dragon is now bloodied. Less, less effective. Uh. <laughs> and and uh, Stevie will take a... Uh, he's going to circle around, Uthgrim style and move himself over here somewhere and throw another javelin at this okay. guy. So, no disadvantage this time, hopefully. Nice, yep. Yeah. That'll hit. And it's 2d6 plus 4. I'm using a... So you, like, bound up my macros that... Uh, 7 <laughs> damage. I'm not, I'm not used to having to actually look things up. And that is it for my turn. Uriel. I'm going to cast from my sword a wall of fire that uh, will leave them out of it. Probably not smirk, but we're, um, and probably not a great ape, but. Well, everyone within 10 feet takes damage, so keep that in mind. On one on side. One side of the wall. Yeah. Uh, not wall of fire, uh, fireball. Oh, oh fireball. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're an evoker, so you can designate up to yeah. four people that aren't injured by it. So okay. you can do that. Um, that shouldn't be a problem. It looks pretty hardy. Yeah, so four people. So, Kyvol, I mean, you could drop it somewhere. Where... Yeah, I was thinking, drop it. If I drop it right here, then he's yeah. still in it, and you know, these guys are ultimately out of it, except for Smurg. Okay, roll your damage. Okay. Um, the highest level that fucker can cast. Okay, so he's going to take half. And then add a 1d8. So. Add a 1d8. Yeah, because this is... Uh, 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 fifth level. Yeah, so but actually, it's D6. Not D6. Right. <laughs> you roll a one anyways. So scratch that, and uh, it should be, since it's fifth, two D6, right? I'm being silly. Alright, then add nine. Yeah, because there's ten of them for a fifth level. You don't need to So the original total would have been what forty one. So you would have taken yeah. half that. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's actually looking pretty hurt now. And your ogre. Uh yeah. Uh he's going to walk in to right here. Ultimately push wow. Mastig away. And he's going to. Well, he them. can't. Mastig is conscious at this point. So he can't move. Oh, so I can't move. He can him. move through his square, but he can't end in it. So he could move on the other side of uh, Smug there. Okay. Right. Yeah, there you go. And he's going to club him. Okay. Let's go clubbing. That will miss. Mastig. The yo-yo dwarf. First he's down, then he's up, then he's down, then he's up. <laughs> Gotta get up to get down. <laughs> get the fuck out. Get up and get down. I move forward and attack with my with my Krug Krugar. Okay. How about a crit for 28? Uh, nice. Nice. And then I will do War Priest. 
bonus action attack again. Come on, crit me again, Krugar. But a 19 for 13. Yep. Nice. nice. And then Gygax 2.0. Now, now, hang on. <laughs> At the end of uh, your turn, before Gygax goes, um, he's going to use a legendary action. And he's going to attack you, Mastic. Oh, God. With your tail. Why don't you really like this giant ape that just wants to pound your face? Yeah, but Mastic's almost dead and it knows it. 24. <laughs> so true. No, that doesn't hit. What? It does too. You liar. Of course it hits. It's 24 also. Nine damage. Oh, I was going to say cutting oh. words on the thing, but my mic was muted and. Then it's like, wait, my mic's muted. If you say it, it won't work. Yeah. You can you can do it anyway. if you want, Chrissy. To the hit. Twenty three. Does that still hit you? I don't yeah. hit him. Oh. Yeah. So nine damage. She tried, man. That's I'm all still we can up do. though. I still got six hit points. So so now your uh, ogre can go. All right. Hey, can my ogre? Because <laughs> I get one free object thing, right? So could I pull out a potion, hand it to my ogre, and have him apply it to me? <laughs> yes, but you already used your action. <laughs> yeah, but the ogre is pouring it. Like if you're unconscious, somebody can pour a. Yeah, but you're your you're tongue. getting it out and handing it to him, which would be an action, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> if he had a potion, yeah, he could totally do that. I, I like your effort to maximize the... Uh... Yeah, dude. The fucking gloves are off. <laughs> He's <laughs> just an ogre, guys. Come that on. Just, you yeah, guys are was... expecting way too much from these guys. <laughs> I was just trying to metagame that. <laughs> I liked it. I, I'm going to throw, throw a... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Javelin. 17? That is a miss. Okay. That's my turn. That At the turn. end of the ogre's turn... Glazale uh, is going to do the wing attack. He starts beating his wings. And uh, so everyone within 10 feet of him needs to make a DC 19 dex save. Holy cow. Which is... Wing of evasion. Okay. All right, those did anybody fail or did everybody? Uh, Eisen Faust totally okay. failed. The ogres need to make saves too, right? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. So, what's their uh, dex they, modifier? Their dex modifier is it does not say on the sheet. Probably it's like probably minus one. <laughs> uh, it is minus one. I called it. Cool, he fails it. <clears throat> so, crowbar meat fodder failed it. <laughs> Smirk failed it. Okay, so those who fail are knocked prone and take 11 bludgeoning damage. I suppose he's dead. Is he? All right. Uh, we'll get a 2.0 going. Or Ice and Faust. What, uh, for those that make the save, totally cool? Like, nothing yeah, bad Yeah, it happens. doesn't do anything. Yeah. What now, symbol would prone be? What I was the deck save for? DC Sorry. 19. I used the little bat back guy. Uh, Thurin, if, where are you? If I fail? You don't need to make it. You're not close enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're all the way over here, bub. I know. I'm shooting my bow that's doing really bad. And the, half the time, I'm disconnected when it's my turn. Uh, you got to get your Wi Fi right. signals kind of low there. It's not my Wi Fi. It's the actual internet. I got a call and so, have them have a person come out and fix it who who all was not prone or took damage um crowbar tyvel smurg eisenfaust okay. died eisenfaust died so we have mastig is still standing uthgrim is still standing and the other ogre is that right or no both the ogres are down okay all right so as part of that it can also fly god damn it um, up to half its speed, which is well, you fly straight up eighty, so it can go forty feet. Um, 
this cowardly thing is going to fly away. I, I mean, so yeah, it, it's basically up. flying straight up. So Mastig and Uthgrim, you guys can take opportunity attacks. Damn right we can. Come on. Come on, baby. Kruga. Kruga. Yeah. How does 19 do? Does that hit? Yes. Mastig, you hit for 18? Yes. Remember, part of that is necrotic if that matters. Excuse you. Zero uh, successes. Don't, don't, know what I, don't know what I did there. Uh, that should be <laughs> plus six. So it's uh, eight, nine, nine, 15. 15. 15. 15 3d10 equals. 3d10 equals 6. Zero successes. Is it that is actually just enough to kill it. Yes! You guys, like, it, it takes wing and you each, like, strike out and cut huge gashes in it and it falls to the ground, shudders and dies. Like, dunks it. Like, like, jumping just as, like, to that height that he needs to and just slamming a fist down on its head. I do again, you know? I'm not going to lie, that was mostly Krugar. That was very little mastic at that point. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of slumps to the ground. Kruger is a great team. Raise your hand if you thought we were all going to die. No, I thought for sure that was going to end badly. Uth Kong, MVP. Sort du of Dwayne was there. wanting everybody to run away after like the first round. <laughs> he yeah. was like, guys, we got to get out of here. Who gave up now in the face of adversity, Dwayne? Man. <laughs> I kept coming back. I never once ran away. <laughs> All right. Holy awesome. fuck me in the eye. We only lost two. Oh, actually, it wasn't that bad. Like that. We've had closer TPKs. Yeah. But that first attack. Oh yeah, my. that first breath weapon. Yeah. The way it like almost laid everybody out was yeah. pretty. Yeah. Pretty cool. Especially <laughs> it being a con save. As it's the whole chat a... raises their hands. <laughs> it sets the tone, right? Because like that, like that's it. it's like the whole combat was shaped for that one round. It was like, oh wow. I'm kind of shaky. I'm not gonna lie. I was into that. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Man, I felt like I had a lot of rounds to go before I would die, but I was so concerned about everybody else. Like the fact that when Masty kept going back in, I kept looking at my mic. <laughs> 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 Mastic is like, not going to stop. <laughs> 40 or 50 damage to that thing. Hey, yeah. You, you were crushed yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a Krugar great Krugar fucking hits. Okay. Um, uh, all right. I will so, turn. What, shit, what happens? Tell us what happens. Next. Well, um, I was just going to say that we're like at our time, and I know it's late for Steve. So next week we can deal with like the aftermath of this, but this is effectively the end of this chapter and actually this book so you guys can go ahead and and level to the next level for Ooh. next time yeah what is level eight yeah i wish i got to use eisenblade like what um game. you said we're gonna have some downtime between the sessions yes. i just want to could you give us a bit of a sense as to what that might look like because i think i might try to do up another grim um using that ties into his advancement but also reflects what's going on Okay, so next week we'll handle, like, you know, assuming you guys want some of this treasure that's, like, encased in ice, like, deal with getting that. Um, basically, uh, what's his face? The cloud giant is moving the castle to the north. He's headed towards the spine of the world. He's going to meet with some other giants there. Um, the, the next book starts with you guys in Waterdeep. So I was thinking we take at least a month or so uh, for downtime and what you guys do during that time, like we can figure out, but at the end of that, I want everybody in water deep cause that's where things will resume. So, you know, presumably you guys have Blagoska like drop you off somewhere nearby and then you head back to water deep, but you're going to yep. have anywhere from one to three months, just depending how long you guys want to do whatever you want to do with your characters. Okay. It's not That's good. That gives me the, uh, the rough shape that I need just to kind of have a sense. Is Uthgrim eternally touched by his true form of rage. Yeah. It's funny, right? Because like, I, I like that it was 
I like that it was an epic kind of moment. Like, I don't think I'd want to do it every combat because yeah. then it loses its sting. But, like, you know, it'd be cool if we kind of forget that this happened for a little bit. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, shit, right, that can happen. And, like, yeah. Yeah, it was so, wicked. Don't worry about writing this down because we're going to do all this next week. But, but just to give you an idea of, like, the haul from this treasure hoard, just the money, you're looking at um, 500,000 copper. <laughs> 100,000 silver, 5,000 gold, um, 800 platinum, and 21 sapphires worth 300 gold each. And so you that's guys enough for the fucking pint, right? Yeah, well, that's kind of what I was saying. You guys already have a lot of treasure that you haven't yeah. divided up yet. So you guys are going to have a lot of money. So if you wanted to like get that bar as a group or one of you wanted, like, you're definitely going to be able to do that. So that I would like to go to the city of brass at some point. <laughs> there you go, go shopping. Sort of. And Tyvel has a thing, um, and it'll appear in his write up. He wants to look forward to trading his staff of fire for a staff of like healing or something, because as the as as the game goes on, he realizes like Uthgrim has instilled into him that there's enough pain in the world that the world really needs healing. Okay. So he's going to focus on that. Plus, our group kind of needs more of a dedicated healer. <laughs> but yeah. So, we'll so, look into that. so yeah. So next next year, next year, next week, <laughs> um, we'll we'll deal with the dragon horde. Um, think about like what you want to do with the downtime and how much you need, and then we'll get started in the next module. And the the beginning of it is a lot of um, role playing stuff anyway. So I think it'll be kind of a cool session nice. yeah because we just got done with like mul multiple combat only sessions yeah yeah, yeah there Hopefully probably won't be any combat at all in the next session at least because there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen but well, but yeah but think about you know if you had a month or so what your character would do you know yeah so i know what my character would do already think about Four that of. okay well um next thursday then see some of you tomorrow right i'm not yeah. wrong excellent yeah, stuff guys right. uh, i hope i'm glad to be back <laughs> yeah. yeah it's great to yeah be back. great to see it, everyone next time the rise of tiamat is that what yes. it's called yep that's not okay. ominous or anything <laughs> oh, no, no, no. okay um <laughs> thanks, oh. yep thanks guys see ya all right see ya All right. Well, thank you to everyone who watched. Uh, sorry again. Um, we had some downtime there, almost a month, I think, that we didn't stream and didn't play because uh, I was moving across the country. But uh, we're we're back. We're going to be playing every Thursday, uh, 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. And all of these go up on my YouTube channel, which you can find at YouTube dot com slash c slash starwalker studios um there's a link on the the channel page here on twitch so you can find all of our previous sessions there uh we're also doing princes of the apocalypse Dwayne runs that and we're playing that tomorrow starting at seven eastern or four pacific so come check us out and uh more D D good times and fun thanks for watching <laughs>